The first 23 points felt like a massive hill for the Colts to climb. We just went out executing, and I think, you know, a lot of the plays that we gave up early was just us not, you know, executing the way we want to up to our standard. But the next 23 points showed the potential that they have when both sides of the ball get dialed in. He's a guy who can make a ton of big plays, and that's like really what you need to kind of spark that offense and get him going. The second half of Sunday's game gave us some more glimpses at the evolution of Anthony Richardson, the rookie quarterback returning after missing week three. I just let it flow. You know, I try not to get too high on myself, you know, because everything could be going good in one minute. You know, it just flip, flips on you. So I just try to focus on each and every play. With any young player, you know, it's you're learning things and you're seeing new looks and different things. But, you know, once he gets rolling, he gets rolling. And, you know, we got to start faster offensively. You know, again, that starts with myself. But I got to do a better job with him. AR was at times every bit of a dual threat against the Rams. He ran it 10 times and got sideways cheer from the home fans when he finally took a slide. I've been stepping out of bounds and, and getting down when, when I want to uh, throughout my whole career, you know, but now it's a little different. You know, when I do have the opportunity to slide, I will slide. And if I do have the opportunity to get out of bounds, I will get out of bounds. Another rushing touchdown already Richardson's fourth in three games, the first in NFL history to start a career with that stat. He only completed 11 passes, but they went to seven different catchers. Two touchdowns, two two-point conversions. Richardson accounted for 22 of the Colts' 23 points. You know, I just try to you know, make it work. If, if it doesn't work the right way that we hope it worked and design it to work, you know, I just try to you know, improvise and, and make things work in a certain way. Tight end Drew Ogletree was the only Colt with three catches, but one of those for a score, part of a huge year-long comeback for Ogletree. We just stopped shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, um, just trying to stay out of first and long, second, first and long, second and long, third and long. I thought Anthony showed a lot of poise and great leadership running the offense, and as offense, collectively, we played great. Yes, the overtime will sting a bit. The Colts had a chance in the final two minutes of regulation, but went three and out. Uh, we just kind of, you know, didn't click on certain plays whenever we were in that last two-minute drive, and partially it was on me, you know, just getting too excited, trying to, you know, win the game, but... No, you learn from it, and hopefully we can get the next one. L.A. then marched down the field in the extra frame to win. But if this is all about a process for the Colts, Sunday seemed like a solid next step. Just knowing that, you know, you'll have an offense to have your back. You know, some games, you know, it'll be a defensive battle, where it's back and forth for other games, you know. You're going to need the offense to pick you up, and I think, you know, those guys did a great job. You know, once, the, you know, to get the ball rolling, they got an end zone. We got the turnover, and they capitalized, and, you know, we're just rolling like that. We just got to finish it, man. Everyone in the AFC South has a 2-2 two and two record after week four. The Colts host the Titans next Sunday. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.